Okay, we're at the first garden of the day and um, we've got a few to go, uh, especially this week. So I'll flip you around and show you what we're doing. Okay, so this is the front garden and um, you can see how messy the edges look. So we'll get that edged and um, quite a lot of growth on the lawn. I'm just going to weed through this front bit. It's looking really nice at the moment. And the hedge is just starting to grow. The, uh, the customer wants a third taken off that hedge uh, at some point this year. We're on the Cobra mower. Uh, my other two mowers um, are a bit better than this. This is a good beast. I started off work with this. It was about £350 to buy. And um, it's taken a good beating. It's taken it into the back. Okay, show you the back. So it's looking absolutely beautiful, this garden. It's been really nicely landscaped, the shape of the lawn. And uh, the lawn is really recovering. See, there's quite a lot of growth on it, some beautiful daisies there. Um, but we did scarify it at the beginning of the year as ever leaves the odd bald patch uh, where it's taken out so much of the moss but but now it's looking amazing and uh, we did put a lot of new grass seed down so yeah looking really good and that's the rest of the border and these lovely bulbs are, are up the yellow flowers they're in the allium family I don't know what they are but they smell of the leaves smell of garlic really strong sort of allium fla flavor so um, there's the back. I'll, I'll show you what we've done at the end anyway and put the odd time lapse in. customer wants this hedge bringing down by about a third so I'm gonna bring it down to this level I've uh, used the hedge cutters to get rid of the middle bits because um, I knew there'd be some big stems in there that they couldn't handle so I'll get the loppers out for these two these two big stems in the middle and, um, and we'll level it out and, and we'll see what we end up with um, so check it out
Okay, it's pretty hot and um, it's still pretty early in the morning, so nice breeze though. I'll flip you around and show you the, the hedge. Let me know if you think it's butchered, mistake or, or what, but um, there's quite a difference. So there's Will just tidying up now. Um, here's the hedge, here's what it looks like in the middle. So there was a main stem in the middle and other big um, stems that will have left, you know, quite a gap. But that will all shoot out. And uh, there's the hedge, nice and level and straight. And if we compare it to the neighbours, which is what she's after, we're, we're pretty good, we're on slightly higher ground. Um, I'd say that's the same height um, and we've got the the others to go so this won't just be done in one visit this is going to take quite a while but we can chip away at these we're here for an hour every other week now and um, we'll get through them I checked very carefully um, there were no like birds nests or wildlife in that hedge because it's not quite uh, into the full hedge cutting season so uh, yeah, just being careful there. Okay, we'll see if we can do any more, or uh, how far we get. Check it out. Okay, we'll just show you what we've done then. We've uh, mowed and edged this border, and this gut, this, this lawn, it's so hot this morning. Uh, we have hoed through the entire edge of the garden. All of the borders, there's quite a large area. And then, if I show you out front, <laughs> just topping up with water. So out the front we have mowed, edged, and then there's this bush that we've taken down for the customer and um, asked her how she feels about them and uh, yeah, happy to have it done and uh, she's going to check it out and uh, see if we can do the others over time. So let's hop on to the next garden. Okay, we're in the next garden. Check it out, it's a big one. Okay, so this is the front. I'm going to hoe through this border and plant that red rose. And this is still the front, so on the other side, I've got a huge border and they're growing a laurel front fence, <laughs> laurel hedge out the front. And then um, we come back through the side and uh, out into the back and wait until you see this lawn, it's incredible. It takes a, a bit of cutting, uh, it goes uphill and um, We'll show you what it looks like at the end, of course. Got a hot tub, which is very nice. And this is the the, uh, the lawn. So we'll get some nice stripes on it and uh, see if we can hoe through the sides as well. There's uh, quite a few weeds coming up. So uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on and show you the results. Okay, so we're just finishing with a blow out the back, but I'll show you the front and um, hoed through this border fairly roughly and gave it a rough rake as well and it's pulled out most of the weeds and it's looking looking pretty nice. Um, I notice we haven't um, edged uh, this border, the grass on this side but we've um, run out of time but um, given this uh, pretty much half of this border a blow, uh, a, a hoe, <laughs> so a um, bit more to do next time. But uh, it's not looking too bad. And then we've been hoeing out the back and uh, planted the red rose back there. Planted another rose back here, so the customer's pretty keen on her plants and the garden and likes to have, um, you know, a lot to say about it. So here's the border that I've hoed through. So given that a fairly rough hoe and a rake, and um, even right in the back of the border given it a hoe but not raked because um, there's no harm in that material dying down but um, all up here hoed this border and then at the end I've, uh, planted this white rose so looking good the lawn's looking really nice um, give you a sneak peek over next door see what they look like there you go let me know which lawn's better this one or next doors and um, we've started to hoe on this border which is on the left hand side 
um, but you can see there's still quite a lot to go and uh, I've edged uh, the border on this side customer says they want the the border on this left hand side uh, to come out of it because a lot of the plants have, have matured and they're, they're taking over the lawn so um, she wants to maintain that edge so we'll bring our edging spade next time and show you what that's about but yeah always lots to do in this garden but um on to the next